hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been we are going to look at how to get the ntvi of this um of this image here yeah, right but now it's actually the normalized difference vegetation index you know um, we have different indices in um, gis and remote sensing so this particular index um, uses the reflectance value of the near infrared ray. Let's see our notes. It uses the reflectance value of the near infrared ray and then the red light wavelength. Are we together? Good. So um, for Landsat 8, because we are using them um, Landsat 8 imagery. So for Landsat 8, the near infrared ray represents, or um, it's actually the band 5, whereas the red is what the band 4, right? Good. So we have a formula here for NDVI to be equal to um, near infrared minus red divided by near infrared plus red, right? Good. So it's actually an index that quantifies vegetation by measuring the difference between the near infrared ray, which vegetation strongly reflects, and the red light, which what vegetation strongly what absorbs, right? Good. So with this expression, we are going to get what the NDVI of this what of this scene, right? Good. So let's see how it goes. Before we do a thing, you could decide to crop it or let's say clip it to your area of interest. Maybe if you're working on a particular area, you can use the vector data to clip it. However, since we are not doing that, let's come down to raster and let's go to what the raster calculator. Good. So um, from the formula, let's come back. From the formula, we've seen that uh, it's actually 5 minus 4 divided by 5 plus 4 because the NIR with the near infrared represents, or it's actually the band 5 in Landsat 8 product. Then the red is actually what band 4 in what in Landsat 8 product. So if you're using Landsat 7, the band numbers, or oh yeah, the numbers will, will differ. So now with that, let's now get a parenthesis and then let's start building our what. Uh, expression so uh, you can decide to remove those other bands you don't need which includes one to three then what six and seven right Good. however i just decided to leave them here so we have what our bands here and then our bands of interest from the formula is what five minus four and then five plus four so we have a um, band five minus where is our negative sign here then band 4, right? Good. So this should be band 4. Then we can close this bracket. Then divided by, we open another bracket again, which is what? Band 5 plus band 4, right? Good. Then we can just close that bracket, right? Good. So now this is the expression, or with this particular um, expression, we have actually substituted the corresponding bands into this what into this formula which says what the near infrared minus red then near infrared what plus red right we divided by the near infrared plus red so i haven't done all of this okay let's have an output layer good we are working on a folder called ndvi so let's call this um DVI underscore SS and then let's um, save that. So this is actually the, the resolution, the spatial extent, the CRS, which is actually very, very important. And if everything is set, we can click on OK. Good. You can see the progress, right? Good. So we have what the NDVI layer and then we can see what our range of values now um for the result we are supposed to have or let's say the resulting value the resulting ndvi value ranges from minus one to one right good so you know the range of value we have here actually falls within minus one to one let's put some of these out because we wouldn't need them good so and with this black and white we might not really have a very good interpretation of what this our vegetation index looks like so we are going to change what the symbology 
so let's double click on that good so um on that symbology let's get to single band pseudo color then um we have discrete instead of what linear then we have what equal interval and then let's look for a different color ramp good so let's um, use this word let's use this color ramp let's take it this so from our what from the interpretation here we can see that this color represents values that are what less than or equal to what minus 0 0.004 right good down so having done that we can decide to apply and then okay good so we now have what the ndvi of the scene that we are using now by looking at this you can clearly see some parts where we have what healthy vegetation that you can see okay let's change this to blue so that um, it can represent what the water body so let's make this blue Sorry. good so you can see what the NDVI, you can decide to maybe modify the symbology to suit what the the project or whatever you're doing, right? So by the time you keep zooming in, you would see what how the different colors are, or let's say the raster values, which what shows the different colors, and then you can understand what the health of maybe the vegetation was around your project area, right? So for you to understand it better, you can use what this um, identify feature so that you can see the values. Now, when you have NDVI values that are the from the range of values, when your NDVI is close to one, it indicates dense, healthy vegetation typically found in forest areas or areas with abundant plant growth. Right. So, when your value is close to zero, it indicates little or no vegetation or vegetated surfaces like water bodies or barren lands. Right. But now. When the values are close to minus one, it indicates negative vegetation values, which represents features like what um, urban areas, rocks, or desert regions, right? Good. So now it has various applications depending on the application you want to use it. You can decide to use such what interpretation. So now let's use um, this identify tool to see the value we are going to have around this area. So we're having what this should be 0 0.5 and then 0 0.5 is closer to 1 than let's say it's closer to 0 so it shows or it indicates dense healthy vegetation right but now let's look at somewhere around here that has should we call this um, light yellow or something we have what 0 0.007 and 0 0.007 is closer to let's say 0 right good so it indicates little or no vegetation right good which is um um no vegetated surfaces like water bodies or barren lands and in this case it looks more like what a barren land right good now let's see this other view part which we want to believe to be okay zoom this to layer good so now let's see this part now we finally have what a negative value and from the description it shows that what when you have negative values it represents what maybe urban areas rocks or deserted regions right good so or maybe in this case we are use what a, the blue to indicate what the water let's say the water bodies right good so good so with this you can actually get your data maybe use this particular formula which we've shown to you if you're using what a landsat a product you can do this um, combination or let's say using your raster calculator to do this combination and then you can derive or you can arrive at the ndvi of what of your area of interest then the symbology remember depends on how you want to modify it to suit what the application and the results you want to present so we believe we've provided solution to this particular gis remote sensing problem we are going to see you on our subsequent video until then keep staying safe and have a very good time bye